I'm Robbie Schwartz with Built Tank Inc. And today we're going to look at the field applications of the 2021 IECC, specific to the air barrier, air sealing and insulation installation table, and some of those specific insulation requirements that are in the code. We're gonna use the 2021 IECC as our frame of reference here, and we're gonna go see what we can find. So one of the things that we wanted to do today is talk about the air barrier, air sealing, and insulation installation table. And we're gonna go through each of the components of that table specifically. And it starts with the general components, which is talking about the continuity of the building thermal envelope, and then basically air sealing every penetration through the building envelope. And you'll see that insulators often offer an air sealing package. So they're using an expanding foam product, uh, often that is sealing up different holes, and they might actually at, be adding a supplemental air barrier in certain cases. But we wanna be sure that we understand that the framer is probably the trade partner of choice for 90% of these air barrier details that we're gonna be talking about today. And then the insulator can come up and touch up those details with their expanding foams. Uh, but they will also be using the expanding foams to fill in around wire penetrations, uh, maybe behind an electrical box on an exterior building thermal envelope wall, and those types of things as well. The general section of this table talks specifically about uh, making sure that all joints, breaks, and holes through the building envelope are sealed and that the insulation is continuous. So you'll look in the definition section and you'll talk about the continuity or continuous air barrier of the house. And that continuity is, is really important, meaning that we, we have our building thermal envelope that is defined by the alignment of our thermal control layer and our air control layer all the way around the house here. And you can see uh, we've got the beginning of that happening in this wall here. We have our exterior, primary exterior air barrier on the outside, which would be the continuity of the sheathing on the outside. We have our thermal barrier in alignment with that. And then we're gonna have our primary interior air barrier system on the inside of the house, which would be the drywall of this house. So the air barrier, air sealing and insulation installation table talks about narrow cavities that are created uh, when framing isn't abutted directly against each other. And specifically, when the cavity is one inch or less, it calls out that that needs to be air sealed. And you can see in this case that they used an expanding foam that uh, goes down there. And I wanted to show you kind of an example of another uh, insulated cavity that's narrow. Uh, and in this case, we've got like a three inch cavity where you're either going to have to cut a bat or uh, use a blown material, but the code talks about the narrow cavity insulation side of it, that it needs to fully fill the cavity. And in this case, we're not only fully filling the cavity, but we're seeing that this is also an insulated corner, which is also a requirement of the code. When you have an insulated quarter, corner, you need to use material that upon installation has an R value of at least an R3 per inch there. So insulated corners, and then if we move up here, we'll see that insulated headers are also required by the code. And in this case, they're using a two-ply header that moves, moves the, the two structural components out to the outside next to the exterior sheathing, and then they leave a gap there that can be blown with a blown product there to create an insulated header. So we should be looking for insulated headers and uh, insulated corners and then those narrow cavities that they're either fully insulated or air sealed uh, in accordance to the code. The air barrier air sealing and insulation installation table also talks about the joint between the window frame and the wood framing that the window is installed into and that that joint has to be sealed and you can see on this window that they've used a low expansion foam between the window frame itself and the wood framing here. Now, the interesting thing in this particular installation is that the weather resistant barrier has been wrapped into this install of this window. And so they really should have air sealed on both sides of this, this membrane or cut the membrane uh, back uh, to the edge of the window so that they could seal it properly there. But again, 
the, the window units themselves often aren't the key air leakage point of the house. It's where different materials are coming together, like the window frame to the wood framing itself, and that is an area that is required to be air sealed.